Good morning. That second seed truck that was supposed to come yesterday, it's here now. Good morning. I got those other ones stacked up from yesterday and uh, we got another eight boxes today. That's a good thing. So uh, when I ordered my new phone a couple of weeks ago, they gave me $200 in credit to use on Samsung stuff. So I got these fancy little uh, Galaxy Buds Pro thing. I thought it might make my audio quality a little bit better. Again, you guys tell me. This is the first clip I've recorded with them. Um, but I tested them the other night and they seem to work pretty well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them off and on a little bit, I think unless you guys tell me otherwise. Also, yesterday's video, the last about four minutes of that video I recorded in 4K. I'm gonna do all of today's just to see. But normally when I upload my videos to YouTube, they're about two gigabytes. At least that's what it says. Yesterday said 10 for four minutes of 4K. So if that's the case and I do a whole 20 minute video, it's gonna be like 50 gigabytes of data that, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can do all that, but we'll see. Anyway, today's plan, we're going to get this out of here, but we're going to wait until this afternoon to do it. Do you guys remember last week when we were changing some of the gauge wheel rubber uh, tires on this, we were using our hydraulic press in the back of the shop. And our hydraulic press is a hand crank, pain in the butt, slow, um, but it works. It's nice. However, down at our farm in Berkey, we have... A hydraulic press with a lever and an electric motor and it's super nice and so my plan for today is to take ours from up here that works but is slow and swap it with the one at our farm in Berkey because well we actually use it here we use that one down there maybe once a year so why not have the nice one where we're going to use it more right so that's the plan I've got to hook the trailer up to my pickup we're going to use the forklift and set the press on that and make sure we've got it strapped down extremely well because they're very top heavy, which is a problem, but I think we can get it figured out. And then we're going to take it down to Berkey. We're going to use our forklift down there to unload it, load up the other one and bring it up here. And then here's the problem. That one's electric, so we got to wire up a plug. And my plan is to set it over there in the corner about where my uh, farm all tractor is, uh, which means we've got to get electricity run over there. We have 110, but we don't have a 220 circuit, so we'll see. We'll figure that out when we get back or when we get down there and look at it and see what we're going to need. Uh, I might do some measuring here while I'm here because if we need to get parts, there's a Lowe's right down the road from our Berkey farm, and it's an hour from here at the one right next to our Berkey farm if I need parts, so we'd have to go back. So we'll see if we need to make a Lowe's trip and get everything that we need to get. Okay, here's what we're after. We'll take all our blocking and stuff off of here because... We'll just leave that with the where they're at. Looks like I got to get the gator out of here, and then we'll see what we can do with the forklift. But I'm pretty sure I can lift from up top here, and it should be fine. I can't lift here because this platform moves up and down, so it'll it'll just move. But well, I got it turned. Can't really see it. And I should be able to. Up. Okay. Cool. Okay, we got it up there. It looks small sitting there. We're gonna have to get her strapped down good. I'll put the forklift back in the front of the shop. Get some straps. All right. I think this will work because when I shake it, it shakes the whole dang trailer. So we're gonna go with that. Burr, it's cold out there. Well, I made it down here to Berkey. Phil's down here, cleaning out the bins and hauling some grain. Here's the question. Is she gonna start? I promise I Well, here's what we're after. She's a little bigger, frame-wise. Heavier, top-heavy. Yeah. But this one's on wheels, so we can roll it around a little bit. I think we're going to have to move that cabinet to get it, get it out that way. But, um, you know, got to figure out how to get this forklift started. It started. I'm not sure how. 
I just walked over and tried it and it pretty well fired right up. So that's awesome. We're gonna have to let her warm up for a minute because the hydraulics are so cold that uh, it doesn't move. So we'll let it warm up for a second. I got that one unstrapped. We'll get it unloaded. And I got this one rolled out where we can get to it. So this is gonna go well here. You see that? That's gonna be a problem. Gosh dang it. My propane tank ran empty. As soon as I started to drive out the door, made it three feet and it died. And our other tank down here is empty. I bought a second tank so that when one got empty, you would take it back with you and fill it up out of our propane tank up there. But um, nope, not gonna happen because it's empty. So we get to go find some propane, I guess. That is super frustrating. <sighs> That is the handy thing about working down here to Berkey. Anything you could possibly need was within five miles, so we got two full tanks. All right, I'm back with the tank. Now we get to play the will it start game again, and I should have put the charger on before I left, but I wasn't that smart, so we'll give that a minute and get my other tank out over here, and we'll get there. Look what I found. It's a whole bin full of soybeans. That's worth a lot of money right there. Too bad it's only a 5,000 bushel bin, but still. So we're not completely out of soybeans yet, but uh, I do believe most of those, if not all of them, are sold. Uh, probably just waiting for a March delivery contract or something along those lines. So we'll get there. Phil was hauling corn out of here earlier. Well, there's a bit of a size discrepancy here. <laughs> Could just be that that one's got all the motor and everything up there, but yeah, it looks quite a bit more massive than the one we're switching it with, so. Huh, I got it that far, now I gotta manhandle it over there into position. All right, we got it on there. Now this one's on wheels, so we gotta secure it super duper well. She's a little taller too, but I think we're plenty low. Cool. Conduit, a few other supplies. Let's get hooked up and go home here. This trip took longer than it was supposed to. All right, we made it back to our farm here. I got a delivery while we were gone. This Invincible is my uh, inoculant for our soybeans. So we got a couple of different things here. And uh, also we got our Parts for our welder, so we can work on that here this afternoon too. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, this planter's gotta come out. We gotta get this out of here so we got room to get our press in here. So uh, I'm gonna clean some stuff up a little bit, push this table out of the way, and uh, we'll get her folded up and out of here. Okay, let's go ahead and get this planter out of here. Try not to hit anything. Make it okay. It's kind of funny with just the one wheel over there, but it'll be alright. Okay, we're gonna put our center tube down. I think while we're still in the shop here, I'm gonna go and pull those other three tires off because we're gonna put new, new tires on there anyway. So um, I'll just get them and set them off to the side for right now. Okay, tires are off. So now we can take it. We're gonna go outside first and then we'll have to move stuff around in the back to make room for it back there. Ah, sunshine makes it nice out, you know what? It's still cold, but sunshine helps. I was just looking in the back here. I think I can get this in between the tractor and dad's planer and not have to unhook it. Um, 
for right now. So I think I'm gonna do that because I really am not quite ready to bring the corn planter in the shop yet anyway. So it'd be handy if I could wait till next week to move stuff around and, and cause I can't get this in folded up and, and leave it hooked up in the back of the shop, just, just like the front. So if I can put it in the back barn here and uh, leave it hooked up for now, then we can do this later. That would be much better. Well, we've got room, but we are mighty tight here. That's all right. It would help if I had a spotter, but I'll just keep getting in and out and we'll figure it out. Surprisingly, I almost hit that up there with them closing wheels. Didn't even think of that till I looked. Oh, dang, that's close. Are we in? Oh, yeah, we're in by a lot. Excellent. Well, it went. Make sure I didn't hit anything back here. I did not. Can't do much better than that. You know, one time I won the 4-H tractor driving contest at the county fair, so... I mean, I'm like a professional. I had to move the 7520 up here. That's okay. All right, now we've got room. We can get our press situa situated and our floor cleaned up and our conduit run. We're gonna have to go up and over the door here, over to that panel. And uh, next week we'll bring the corn planter in. I'm not in a hurry. It's still January. Most of the time, it's March before I get a corn planter out, and a lot of times, it's into April. So, we got all kinds of time. We have so much room now. Okay, uh, before we bring that press in here, I want to clean the floor up a little bit. You can use my floor sweeper on that. I'm going to put this big piece of plywood in the back and get that out of here. And we'll just, we'll just clean up a little bit more here. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing off of here without dropping it. Might have to try and slide it a little closer to the edge of the trailer so I can get forks. Surprisingly well balanced, at least it's not tippy this way, so that's a good thing. Okay, well, cool. We got it here. I may try and clean it up a little bit before I stuff it in a corner over there. It's just got an oily film all over everything. Yeah, it's, it leaks, it's gonna happen. But that's okay. I don't really want to wash off the electric motor, but I want to clean it up somehow, so I'll do that. So I'm just looking this thing over a little bit closer. I'm pretty sure she's a homemade job, the more I look at it. Uh, my Uncle Dan, who uh, was the one that used to farm down to Berkey, passed away here in 2009, so it's been over 10 years ago already. Um, anyway, he was the one farming down there, and, and then we kind of took over all that ground after he died. But um, he was pretty good welder, fabricator, built a lot of stuff. I think this is one of his creations. And uh, yeah, should work really well. I don't see any, I don't see any tags or name brands or anything like that on it to know. Uh, so I have no idea what capacity it is, tons wise. Anybody know how to convert PSI into tons, hydraulic PSI? Uh, I can figure out how big that cylinder is. It's quite big diameter, but it's what, probably a two inch rod, maybe two, yeah, inch and three quarters, two, two inch, something like that. I'd be curious to know. If what it is but anyway we got to get her cleaned up a little bit I was looking at the uh, motor up there before I uh, brought it home when I was trying to figure out what we needed for electrical stuff surprisingly um, that motor will actually run on a 115 volt circuit or 110 volts so theoretically we could run it with the electric that we already have over there the problem is at uh, 115 volts, she pulls 36.4 amps. I'm sure that those are either 15 or 20 amp circuits, probably 20 amp breakers on them. So it uh, wouldn't work. Even if you put a bigger breaker in the panel over there, you would need bigger wire. Um, so if we got to run a new line anyway, we might as well run it on 220 or 230 volt. Uh, and then it pulls 18.2 amps, three horsepower motor. So yeah, 
yeah, you just gotta figure it out. Seems like a 90 degree fitting on that uh, hose coming out the top would have been would have been a good idea, don't you think? Oh well, it works clearly. Well, that wasn't really my plan, but it's done now. I uh, I power washed it. It's cleaner. We'll let her dry over the weekend before we do anything. We don't have a plug for it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, one thing I've noticed is that if that cylinder ever goes bad, you can scrap the whole press because it's welded in there. Uh, all right, cool. Well, our welder parts made it today. That's a good thing. So uh, on Monday, we'll worry about that and we'll keep working on our uh, electrical project now. We get to go back to doing electrical stuff for a day or two. So we'll get some conduit hung up there. We might have to get the scaffolding back out. I don't really want to do that. I might be able to work off of the ladder that we've got sitting over there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out and get it and get that press working because I, I, I don't know that I have to replace any of the gauge wheel rubber on the corn planter, but that's kind of why I wanted to do this before we brought the corn planter in because in case I do, I'll have a nice, fancy, easy press to use. So that is the plan. I am going to go in the house for a little bit. It's Friday night. My boys are here because my sister is home with her son and my other sister is coming home uh, a little bit later with her kids. So we came over to hang out with them for a little bit tonight. We'll be over here tomorrow for a while. So um, we'll see how the weekend goes. But yeah, so my boys are here. So I'm going in the house. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend. Like I said yesterday, I'm going to try really, really hard to do a live stream tomorrow. I haven't decided whether it's going to be a mid-afternoon live stream by 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, something like that, or if it'll be at night, like 9 or 9.30. Um, that just depends on what I got going on and when I can get to it. So um, pay attention for that or, or make sure you click that notification bell so that uh, YouTube will tell you when I post it, and I'll try and give at least a half hour a head start or notice on, uh, on when that's going to happen. But... Thanks for watching today and this week and all of my videos. I really appreciate you guys and your support. Uh, hope you enjoyed today in 4K. Uh, we'll see if this is going to keep up or not. It depends on how much storage space to take on my phone and how long it's going to take to upload because <laughs> I think it's going to be a, quite a massive file size here. Uh, anyway, like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll see you guys uh, Monday, except for my live stream. So anyway, have a great weekend. Hello, Brayson. I'm there. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. I just called you. Oh, you just called me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, Parker. Cousin Parker. You getting him?